Oh. From Sadie's to clubs, we got, got the, the scoop. scoop. Please stand for the pledge. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Centurions. I'm Stephanie Rodriguez. Good morning, guys. I'm Veronica Ayala. Today is February, <laughs> Friday, February 1st, 2019, the first day of the month, and we're getting closer to the end of the school year. We sure are. Now, let's move on to some clubs. Yes. Are you struggling in class and don't have anyone home to help you? Then come to the library and get help by the Centurion Club. They are able to help you in any subject. The days and hours are Mondays, 1 to 3, and Tuesdays through Friday, 3 to 6. So come after school. You guys should go. And Veronica, have you heard about hashtag this is century? I've heard of it, but I don't get it. Don't worry, I got you. Well, we want to start using more of this hashtag to show how Century is like. If something's good happening in our school, then take a pic and put the hashtag to show how good our school looks, and we should start using it more. So Centurions, if you guys are at any games, use the hashtag and make our school look good and probably be in Amanda's and Andrea's next segment. Oh, I get it. Okay, let's continue on with some clubs. Centurions, are you interested in helping and homophobia and want to make the school a safer, safer and better place for all students, whether you're gay, straight, or whatever? Then come check out the Gay Straight Alliance Club, the GCA for short. Meets every Tuesday after school in Mr. Leong's room in 5210, where we get, we're here, we have a small video to show you guys. It's amazing. It's amazing. I really like. Oh my God! Look at the skeleton. It's beautiful. My favorite part was when we put on sensors and went into the box so we could dance, and it would be like our skeletons would be in the screen in the box. Look at people react like so beautiful. On Valentine's Day, 2015. A group of families, couples, and friends took part in a unique event with a very simple message. Love has no gender, no race, no age, no disability, no labels. Our nation was founded on a bedrock principle. That we are all created equal. Progress on this journey often comes in small increments, propelled by the persistent effort of dedicated citizens. I know that Valentine's Day is coming up and it's full of love and it has a beautiful message. But remember, love is an everyday and every minute thing. It's not just on Valentine's Day. Love has no labels. She keeps me warm. She keeps me warm. This morning, the Supreme Court recognized that the Constitution guarantees marriage equality. Are you telling me something? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. It's really just about support. Finding, um, if you have one person who loves and supports you for who you are, then then hold on to that person for your life. I'm, nothing would stop me from loving you, my dear. Love is what you make it. Love is what you want it to be. To me, love is blind. Everyone's for everybody, no matter who it is. I want it to. They're no different than they were when they were younger. I love you all for coming. It's made my day. There are a lot of people in the world still struggling to have peace and love. That's why Love Has No Labels have to continue sending the same message to get to the last person on earth. 
so they feel what we feel. If we dare to peek behind the screen of our bias, we'll find that with love, we're all the same. We are all human. This Valentine's Day, share your story and show the world that love has no labels. She keeps me warm. She keeps me warm. Wow, that was a really good video. It sure was. It almost made me cry a little bit. But let's move on to um, some sports. On Tuesday, the boys played against Valley, and that day was their senior night, and we have a video to show you. Good morning, Centurion. So I'm here at our very own stadium where our boys varsity soccer team will be going up against our rivals, Valley. And if they take this win and the next one, they will be going to their first round of CIF. Let's hope they take that win against the Turkeys. Well, there you have it, Centurions. Unfortunately, our boys did not take that win against Valley, but better luck next time, guys. Now back to you guys in the studio. Good job, guys. I'm really proud of you. Also, the girls played yesterday versus Savannah. The score was 3-1. to one. Unfortunately, the girls didn't take that win, but I'm, they still tried their hardest, and I'm still also proud of them. The boys basketball team had a game against Savannah, and the score was 61-44. of Good job, guys. We don't have a video to show you, but sorry. Stephanie, I've heard you've been looking for a job. <laughs> um, don't tell me it's a lifeguard thing, because I could hardly swim away off my bad grades. Stephanie, it is the lifeguard thing, but tell the Centurions about it. Okay, <laughs> I'd be happy to. Well, the city of Laguna Beach is actively recruiting for the job position of an, of an ocean lifeguard with a pay of range of $18.50 to $20.81 an hour. You're, you must be at least 16 years old to qualify right by June 22nd. If you have any questions, email, email the guy in. It's P H O G A N at Laguna Beach City dot net. Thank you, Stephanie. You're welcome, Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> there is also an internship opportunity that will be held in room 324. <laughs> they can help you with your resume, job applications, and improving with your interviews. This opportunity will start today and will go through the whole month. If you have any questions, contact Adrian or Vince in the Centurion Club. Seniors, have you completed your 40 hours of community service? If not, head over to the Tep Parade February 9th on Bolsa Avenue in which you will be helping out with 1,000 helium balloons on the crowd. These, these are an easy and fun service hours. Okay, now let's move on to the exciting news. Sadie's tickets go on sale for $20 with ASB card and $40 without. Remember, you need to get a permission slip before purchasing, so it, it is so get yours ASAP. And if you're a, if you're not a Centurion student, you may not attend. <laughs> it will be. It will take place at Newport Harbor on yacht. Oh, and there will be only 130 spaces available, so hurry to reserve your spot. Listen, listen up, <laughs> class of 2019. Grad night is approaching. Here we have a short preview of what should you expect about it. 
Granite might be something to look forward to, but the deadline is March 22nd, so get yours now before the prices go up. <laughs> Let's not forget about prom. Deadline to buy prom tickets is May, May 3rd, and it will be at Coto de, Pla de Casa. Price for prom is 85 and they will also go up. Buy yours ASAP, and that's, oh wait, yeah, get yours ASAP, and yeah, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's all the news for today, and stay tuned for another broadcast. <laughs> Always remember, use your smile to change the world. Don't let the world change your smile. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>